What's up, YouTube? I got a special one for you guys on today. This one will focus on six secrets you need to know before retiring and leaving the corporate plantation. And so, guys, listen, man, before I get into the nitty gritty on the day, please show my wife some love as she officially retired today. OK, let me know in the comments. Show her some love for me. Please do me that favor. But check this out, though, guys. The thing I want to talk about today, I'm going to kind of focus on myself and we're going to circle back and do one with the focal point being on both of us so that you can get the holistic story on six secrets you need to know to lead a corporate plantation, okay? So number one, it didn't happen overnight. One thing that on this journey and it's been like three years now, guys, since we kind of officially kind of arrived at this point, if you will, you start to notice that sometimes people get the impression that it may have happened overnight or happened by happenstance. That's totally not the case, guys. Leading up to this point, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of work was put in to get into this point. A lot of smart financial decisions were made to get to this point, okay? And so it's very, very important that you understand that on your journey, as you work to leave the corporate plantation, please know and remember, it doesn't happen overnight, okay? It might seem like it once you get there, but in totality, it don't. I often talk about guys, most people see the end result and very few consider the journey. I got over hundreds of YouTube videos and I have said that in every single one because that's truly the case. People will see you here and then ignore that you are this awesome, best-selling author, five books, been one of the top business leaders, entrepreneurs in the world, all these years leading up to this moment. And so oftentimes those things get forgotten, overlooked, or not even counted in you ending up here. Okay, YouTube and this segment is just a small piece of the puzzle but there's many things along the way that help create the whole pie that got us to this level of being able to leave the corporate plantation and never work again, okay? So guys, understand number one, it didn't happen overnight. Number two is be intentional, okay? I was intentional and I've always been very intentional. I'm a guy that don't waste work. I don't waste words, okay? If you guys know me in real life, I'm an introvert very quiet man a few words when i talk people listen when i talk things happen but i never been a one that just talk for the sake of talking talk to hear myself speak if i say something typically it's going to be very tactful thoughtful and profound i'm not one to just talk for the sake of just again hearing myself talk i was intentional with my money as well okay meaning i started saving i started cutting my hair i stopped splurging, buying clothes. I was making intentional efforts to do the little things that I need to do to make the necessary sacrifices that I needed to make in order to reach my financial goals. Ultimately, guys, I wanted financial independence. Ultimately, guys, I wanted financial freedom. I was able to do that when I became intentional about what I was doing and what I was actually trying to accomplish. It's a perfect segue into the fact that I gave my money a purpose. If you ever did a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me, or if you know me on a deeper level and you know some of the powerful talks I give all around the world, you know I talk about giving your money a purpose. I talk about giving your army a dollar of responsibility for it to go out and do something for you. So if you don't know me before YouTube, I was uh, I used to be a speaker, still am a paid speaker, five-time or two-time best-selling author, five books, so part of that, not to say that for any other purpose, is just making a point, okay? When I used to get 10,000 per speaking engagement, so I used to purposely try to speak a minimum of 10 times per year at 10,000 a pop, because that was a 100K by the end of the year. But on one stretch, I might've used 100K to pay down or off a student loan, for example, or I might've used that to pay off one of my cars or pay off one of my houses or something like that, but I gave the money a purpose. I never just freely got money from doing the things I was doing or the services I was providing 
or the problems I was solving for other people and then just rested on my laurels and let the money just flounder. We didn't make it rain. I didn't make a money phone. But what I did do was let me pay that off. Let me buy that car in full. Let me let me pay down these credit cards. Let me do some stuff so I can free myself up financially, okay? Those are some of the things I did in terms of giving my money a purpose. And every dollar I had had to go out and produce. You guys often hear me say, when they sleep, we eat. And when they panic, we pounce. But when they sleep, we eat. It's really, when I'm sleeping, the money is out there making things happen. The money is out there growing. The money is out there taking down my debt, making sure that I don't have all this overhead so that I can live free, okay? So give your money a purpose. Do not forget that as you are trying to transition or position yourself to leave the corporate plantation. Number four, guys, I invested in quality companies. One thing about me, you guys know, or my true fans, you guys know I'm a buy and hold investor, AKA a long-term investor. So in that, I invest in Apple. I invest in Tesla. You guys know one of my biggest plays is VTI, or for those that know the real one, VTSAX, okay? And so those are the type of quality names and companies that I helped do the heavy lifting so that I can expedite the process of leaving the corporate plantation, okay? Part of that, guys, you have to not only invest in what you know, like, and love, first and foremost. Number two, make sure your money is working for you. Not only are you making sure you give your money a purpose, but you are investing in something that's going to give you a great ROI or a return on your investment so that you can speed up the process of leaving the corporate plantation. Guys, we don't have to work to 65. And just because I'm retired don't mean I can't pick up a bag. Just because I'm retired don't mean I can't pick up a million here, a million there from doing the various things that I can do at a high level. And so guys, it's very important along your journey to make sure not only that you're operating with purpose, but that you make sure that you are intentional, like I said before, okay? And these things helps expedite the process to get to where you're trying to get to, which is ultimately reaching your financial goals. Number five, guys, I avoided lifestyle creep. See, one thing about me, and I can say, I jumped into this space for a variety of reasons. One being representation. Before I got into the YouTube space, I didn't see anybody young, black, and as accomplished as I was at least, okay? There might've been people in the space, but I'm talking about real life stuff. Not none of this fake, goofy, made up stuff that I see online. I'm talking about real life certified, have taken care of the community, bless hundreds, thousands of people, degrees, community work, books, speaking, mentoring. I'm talking about, I didn't see that when I know I brought all of that to the table. So for me, when I came into the game, I was already on my way, but then I reached the level where I was able to take things to the next level. And one thing I did, guys, was avoided lifestyle creep. What lifestyle creep is, is this. Now that you got millions, you can go buy out everything, okay? Especially when you're good with money like my wife and I. There's not nothing in Rolex I can't go get, nothing in the Louis V store. I could buy the whole store if I wanted to. You get to a level where your wealth is up there, where you can do some things normal everyday people can't do. But because you can don't mean you have to, okay? Because you can don't mean you have to. Avoid lifestyle creep. Avoid thinking you gotta keep up with the Joneses. Guys, I still live a modest, humble life. Okay, I still got my same cars that was paid off before I retired. I still got the same houses that I had before I was retired. I didn't go out and be like, oh man, I need to go buy a mansion. Or I saw this person or this, nah. I avoided all that so that my money can remain long and strong to the end of time, okay? Now guys, you can go out and do those things. You can reward yourself, but I'd rather take trips. I'd rather spend money on experiences. I'd rather spend money blessing other people, pouring into the youth, giving scholarships away, sending kids to college. Those are the things we do with our money. We're very philanthropic. 
we're very giving people and I'm definitely a giving person just naturally before this. That's why the Lord can use me in such a manner, okay? Which leads me to my next and final point. Number six is the fact that I stay plugged into the Lord. Listen, guys, it's easy to think it's all about you on this journey. It's easy to get caught up in the hype and think that it's something you did, ignoring and not acknowledging that a higher power is at play. We often say, if you know me, favor ain't fair. And I often say, guys, please don't confuse my swag with favor, okay? Favor, that's what you see. It ain't swag, it's favor, okay? And I'm able to not only reach millions, I'm able to reach the masses. I'm able to change thousands of lives on a daily basis in real life and online, okay? But I stayed tapped in. I stayed plugged into the Lord. I didn't get to a level and then abandon him or forget to thank him or act like it was all me. I know this ain't me. I know I was putting in the work. I know that I showed that I could be trusted. I know that I prayed at times for him to expand my territory and that is what he did, okay? And because he did that, I now reap not only the benefits but everything else that come with it and so I have to be built for it. But I stayed plugged in. I remember to praise him, not only in a world that doesn't like to acknowledge the Lord, not only in a world that's overly hyperly sexualized, not only in this hate world and toxic social media world that we live in, where they don't even know about a higher power existing, okay, or most people are atheists or don't believe in nothing, okay, navigating the midst of that. That's why I always call them my prayer words. I don't know what y'all doing, but if you got some praying people out there, please pray for your boy. Please pray for my wife, okay? Because, again, the devil is always trying to attack. His mission statement is to kill, steal, and destroy. And so I have to stay plugged in. I have to keep the full body of armor on to make sure that I can keep not only showing up for you guys, but showing up for myself, showing up for the thousands of young youth that I mentor and pour into so that they know that it's possible, okay? So listen, guys, stay plugged in. Remember... All of these things work together for the greater good, but you got to first seek the kingdom, okay? You guys got to know that. Do not ever get none of this stuff twisted that happened online. Some of us are really certified. Some of us really cut like that, built like that. And so you have to have discernment. You have to decipher who's really real out here versus who's out here pump faking, as I taught y'all about the stocks often like to do, okay? It's, it's easy to get blurred lines, but I'm trying to tell you guys, these are some of the secrets to leaving a corporate plantation. Figure out of these six, which ones you can implement into your lifestyle and do what you can to make it your own. Remember guys, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember most people see the end result, very few consider the journey. So do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.